So welcome everybody to Squid School, where we give squids the wherewithal, the knowledge, the wisdom that they need to and become kids, squids. and vice versa. I'm joined here by Coach Mikey, hey, by Coach Simon, yo, and by Devi, my teammate from my competitive team. Hi. Andre was unable to be with us for today, so Devi's just going to be in here holding it down on the back line. What's the rotation right now? Clam, Moray, and Snapper. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta play more, eh? Snapper Canal. It big. Uh, it's a really big, wide open bowl, basically. Uh, everything funnels down into the center of the map. And then you wanna go anywhere from center, you have to go up. All right, gather around, class, gather around. There are a couple of approaches to the basket that you can make. We'll talk about all three because all of them can be relevant depending on the situation. So Debbie's got her, her laser pointer out. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I'll be your assistant. The most obvious way is to go through street, which is what I'm painting here. This area right here is bike. This and behind this, so back here, is a good staging ground for trying to push through street. But like if you get a fast break or something, you can also just kind of charge through mid and try and get up there as fast as you possibly can. So this is your fast break option uh, or your let's just force a push down their throats option. Um, if you have bubbles, for instance, if you throw bubbles from here in this direction, you're covering pretty much all of the space that you need to be able to walk forward and throw a clam in. So this is one of the most common ways to push the basket. Let's also talk though about the area over in this direction. I might force Debbie to move, I'm sorry. You have access to the basket. You can throw a power clam in from about here. You have to be relatively close to it, but notice how these walls that I'm painting here protect you from view. They keep you out of sight. And so it's a fairly sneaky way if you can get yourself down here. Also, if someone succeeds in pushing from street, you can often rotate successfully down in this direction to keep throwing clams in before they can figure out where you're throwing clams from. One other thing that might assist you in this push is this railing over here. If you shoot that and you ride it over you can jump off and throw a power clam from here. While this is fast, it's also one of the more visible ways to push. Like everybody who's anywhere near base is going to see that this rail is painted the wrong color. And you can see the little blob of me swimming through it here and shoot it off the rail. See the, the part of the map that I've just painted? You can totally just jump from here and come up on the other side of this wall and get him from behind. This is usually where a flanker is going to push from. If you're trying to do something sneaky, like a brush push or something, the only trick to this push is getting up this wall here. If you can get up that wall, you're in good shape. <laughs> this is a really common area to give people clam jumps, if that's a strategy you're trying to use, because again, it's, it's so far out of sight. You just need to be careful not to get this close to the wall, because if you're too close, then when the power clam lands, they don't actually have an angle they can throw from. You can see I'm pointing as far up as my controller will let me, and the clams are not going up and over the ledge. They're hitting the wall first. So you need to be at, the top of the wall and You need to be back. back at least about this far. If you're in front of this middle line here, you're you're too close and the clam will definitely not be able to go in. Now there is a third way. So like I said, bike right here, good staging ground for a push. And if you need cover, using this area on top of hill can be pretty good. But what we're really gonna be talking about here is what's called sneaky. So if you paint your corner and swim and jump, you can get over to this side. That gives you access to this area, the enemy snipe. Snipe is what this platform here is called. And this can be a place where you can throw a clam in here, in from here. You can also maybe drop down here to get position for people to jump in. You can intercept people as they try to spawn, although just watch out for someone to come from this area here. That is still dangerous. And if things get dangerous there up here, you, you can drop down into this corner. And this really restricts enemy line of sight on you. And it also gives you access back to street if you want to run away. And now let's move on to moray clams. Nice hat. Thank you. The Canadian approves of the Mountie hat. <laughs> so I like Moray because I think that aside from, you know, how long it takes for someone to spawn back in once they're splatted, because, you know, they have to fall down both of those ledges and it takes frickin' forever. The fact that the clam goals are as close to center as they are 
makes it so that the map is effectively smaller. So you still have to watch out for chargers here, but there are only so many places that you want to be that a charger is actually going to control as hard. Because you're trying to push over to there. So there are three ways, I guess you could call it four ways to get there. One way is through mid. So if you paint up this ramp that I've just painted and swim through here, you turn around the corner and you've immediately got access to the to the goal. Um, you can throw a power clam from right about here and you'll be able to make it in. Right here is how close I have to be. So, you know, you have to get a little bit around the corner, but not by much, and it's still giving you cover. It's hard to defend if I'm coming from here. Like, I have a better shot of shooting someone from over this ledge than I do once they get around that corner. It's, it's just kind of hard to make those shots in time to prevent it from going in. It looks like you throw further when you jump. Is that actually the case? What's happening is that you are moving your arc closer to the basket. It shows that, like the indicator shows that I could hit it from like here. Yes, and that's because, you know, if, if you're on the ground, you're actually further away from the basket than, when, than you right. are when you're jumping. It doesn't increase your throw. It just makes it so that you are closer to the basket when you do the throw. Second way you can get in, which is kind of sort of a couple different ways, is through their street. I have now dropped into their street. I can either paint up this wall, then uh, you, the other way you can go is just up the ramp right here. Um, this ramp right here is really nice because you can use this ledge right here as protection. You can see, like, Debbie's going to have a really hard time it. shooting me, but I can get a clam in from right here, and I can get standard clams in from low enough that she can't hit me. So you force someone to go all the way around the corner to be able to get shots on you. You often get a lot of clams in that way, and so if you're coming in with like eight clams after the basket is already broken, if you see that that area is at all accessible to you, that's where you want to be throwing them from. Then this way, Sneaky. Remember, Sneaky is the way up to Snipe. It's called Sneaky because I am sneaking up on Debbie because she's going to be positioned here. And recall, as we talked about before, I can swim up on this side or I can swim up on this side. Or, if I'm being really cheeky, I can swim up from the front. Any one of those ways, I am now, you know, within spitting distance of the goal. And something worth noting is that I can use this rail to get there faster. So I can jump off of here and throw the clam in midair. And that'll get me there a lot faster than trying to swim down this ramp. But what you also might want to do, if this area is super cleared out, is actually go this way and throw clams from here. Or from... Uh, over in this direction instead. The advantage of this is that it's out of your opponent's way. Most of the time they're not going to spawn and go in this direction, and you're going to be able to get jumps in that will allow you to throw a lot more clams from this position because your opponents don't know they're here. One little trick that's not super useful all the time but can be helpful is that you can paint this wall and hop up over the side and throw one in from here. If, say, this corner is really heavily guarded but you need to get in, you can just paint that wall and come over here and get up without really being seen. Let's go play some League. Hey. School of the Squid, thy squid? We do not possess squids, that would be slavery. <laughs> Our squid, who art in school, <laughs> hallowed be thy squid. <laughs> there was a running joke in my uh, middle school classes back when I was a teacher uh, that I was the squid god. There was a, the whole <laughs> squid religion based on this one little doodle of a squid with a halo over its head that just took way off. And there there were, you know, a bunch of students who would just refer to me as Squid God instead of by my formal teacher name. So then Squid. someone naturally came up with the octopus cult as a counter meme to it. The whole thing just became Splatoon. It is the lore. To be honest, I was a bigger fan of the squid religion because... It, it was like a counter meme. It was like, hey, they're they're getting all this attention for having this cool meme. I need to supplant my own meme for it. And it was just like, eh, it's not original though. And it's the same thing with different words. Middle school memes <laughs> are weird. They also have a very long half-life. Middle schoolers do not stop making the same joke for years at a time. <laughs> Rule of threes be damned. I use Octoling, so it makes sense I would be on Octocult. <laughs> I mean, I use squid. Go, 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 go. Grab the clamp. Jump. No, I got it. Okay, jump into me. Oh, okay. no. That was too far. 
I got one down. <laughs> oh, we missed, missed both of them. Yeah. <laughs> they just... No, it's up there. I can't grab it. Yeah, that's game. Oh, no. Rip. We have e nine camp. And all of them are on me. And I just ran in and died, so... <laughs> We do not have nine clams. Pick up clams. Clam, clam are all gone now. I didn't know when he died. I need to stop doing that. Oh, okay. I tried to get the uh, You can jump to me at any point here, and you should be able to get it in. Ugh. Try to collect some clams. They're pushing our basket. Never mind. They're out now. We're in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm still safe we... jump. I'm going to come up there and just be a nuisance. Got the ballpoint, which gave me another clam. I'm gonna get the E leader. Oh, got him. Oh, I missed him. I'm still here. Bring clams. I'm, I'm trying to grab more on our near our base. I'm down. We need to keep this push going. Uh, I don't think we have enough clams, and they got a power clam ready to go on our base. Oh no! I fall. I am still here. Oh, I didn't make it to the last one. It was a good push <sighs> at the end, just a little too little too late. Yeah. Sam says, don't jump with blaster. Oh, yeah. Uh, so when you jump with the blaster, the aim RNG spikes up way higher than it oh. is when you stand on the ground. Okay. Noted. With range, he says, I want to shoot and then jump. Otherwise, the RNG is trash. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And swim strafing between shots is crucial. You should basically yeah. never take two shots from the same position. It's like a attack moving in a MOBA. Roller oh. on jump. Jump is the gap that goes to their bunker, and you don't know what bunker is either. I need to explain the callouts better. Ah! <laughs> I am on their uh, snipe. Jump to me, jump to me, jump to me, jump to me. Oh, the roller. No! Got him. The spy flop got me. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm gonna get that power clamp. Nice. Coming. Got the dualies, no, uh, and then the roller got me. Got it. Roller out of ink. Nice. Get more clams in. Oh boy. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. One kept jumping in, one after another over the ledge. I'm like, keep coming into my line of fire. Keep coming. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, installing a Hydra on their snipe is mean. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, you can jump I'm to me. I'm gonna do a crazy thing. They're, th they're three down. They're going jump for our, They're going for our base. I got it first. Oh, no, no, wait. That was Whoops. our base. Oh, no, my God. I jumped. I got so confused. Did they have someone snipe. I am on their snipe. They don't know I'm here until now. I got one. I'm nice. uh, probably jumpable. There, I'm jumpable now. Got a bubble out, but I died. No. Oh. All right, we're good. <laughs> yeah, but we need to get some. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice. Go, Jim. Go. <laughs> oh, I didn't even Keep realize going. there was a power clam. <laughs> I got the rail painted, so they're kind of stuck. There are two here, though. Be careful. Oh. Got one. Uh, there are three here, actually. There's a baller. I don't know what he popped it there for, but... He went, I don't in, know, the he went in the water. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. you love to see it. Okay. I'm going to trust that you can stop the brush, because I've got to jump to stop. There we go. Right. Yeah, there's oh, another jump. Sneaky. There's a hammer, our hill, Braided. our bike. He's at our base now. Watch oh. for a jump. Yeah, I fell. Yeah, he's still... He went back to Sneaky. He's going for the clam. He's going for the clam. Okay, I see. It's down. Oh, they didn't get it. They didn't get oh, it. Oh, that was dumb. At least I got someone with it. Got a second. No. <laughs> and that is the risk of going over rail. Especially when you have a splatling <laughs> watching it. 28 kills. 28. <laughs> Relax. Sam says, I love throwing a wall in front of rail because then they hit the wall. <laughs> That's so <laughs> that evil. That is true. It's funny. I've seen him do it. <laughs> if they get one power clam, they win. 
Oh, okay, they, they didn't have one. <laughs> we uh, we win. <laughs> cool. What's up, Brock? Are you like Magistrate Brock? Are you that Brock? Brock is cool. Brock is also very, very good at this video game. What is Magistrate? Div 1, Div X? So yeah, uh, anything that Brock says is smarter than anything that I will say. So Brock is Squid God now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, Brock is Squid Arch God. <laughs> This is dumb, but they're not hitting their shots, so it works. Okay, I'm on their snipe now. There's one on their uh, ramp. There are two three actually. here, actually. There's and three. I got two of them. I got a third. Got the and then I just need to get the baller shredded, and I've got the fourth. Oh, crap. Rapid. Rank clock going mid. Got him. Am I dead? No, I'm not. Let's go. We got oh. pity clam. <laughs> I hate having my bubbles deleted by Splashdown. <laughs> well, it's, it's the only thing that Splashdown has going for it because everything else about that special is kind of trash. <laughs> like, ugh. It's so painful to be like, I have special. I'm going to use my ultimate ability and I'm dead. I honestly think the Splashdown would be totally balanced even if it were invincible the entire time. I think there's still plenty of counterplay to it and being able to shoot someone out of it is just overkill. Maybe make special up, special power up increase its armor. It would oh be tricky because sometimes if there's counterplay, if you have a special power up main, but you have no, no idea whether they have that. If there's special power up subs, hopefully they get rid of splashdown for splat three. But yeah, special power up for armor is pretty good. I don't like making it invincible. I think that there's still enough counterplay, like because that's the way that people play against it at lower levels when they can't shoot it down. They just avoid it, and it's still not, like, broken in that style of play. All right, use the bubbles. Get, like, go in with the bubbles. Got it. So that they can protect you. Got it, got it, got it. Nice. Uh. Their power climb's coming back to help. Help is a... I got two. Here, I got enough for a new one. I got him, I got him. <laughs> That's brutal. <laughs> oh, all the missiles. Dang. Ooh, one, get a couple more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, boy. One more win before we rotate. Get and then we, the yeah, we get that power. power higher. They might be going rail. They're going rail. I got the one with the bo the clam, and I got the other one, too. One on bunker, though. He's trying to pick it up. And then the brush in our street. No! Got him. I'm in. Oh, no! Oh, no! No! They stuck behind! Oh, I didn't see that one. That's it, though. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Watch middle, left side, mid. All right. Was that... Good. Wasn't sweating at all. What, no, no concerns there. We won by a single point. I mean, it's going to rotate. Rotation. <laughs> Please come and check us out on Saturday. We're going to be doing Splatfest stuff at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern, and whatever else in the middle. You guys can figure it out. Do the math. Uh, and we'll see you all then. Uh, we do this every Tuesday, and we also put up the stream highlights on YouTube. So if you're ever not able to catch it live, feel free to go and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the bell and all that good stuff, and you'll see whenever we post that stuff. We also post stuff for other games. Uh, we have highlight videos for all of the tournaments that we run. Um, there's a lot of stuff there, so go check it out. Um, that's going to be it for us for today. Thanks for Devi for uh, stepping in on short notice to help us out because Coach cool. Andre was unavailable. Um, and thank you, as always, to Mikey and Coach Simon for being good sports, trying to learn a thing or two, and for playing with us. Bye, everyone. Yeah. Bye. Bye.